I got my hands on the new 2019 Wacom Intuos Pro, which comes with the new sensitive Wacom Pro Pen 2. And in this video, I will share what I thought about it with you. This review is aimed at anyone planning to invest in a professional and high quality pen tablet for photo and video editing, retouching, illustration, digital art or graphic design. I have been using Wacom tablets and screens for a very long time and my previous Intuos lasted for exactly 10 years, during which time I haven't had any issues whatsoever. It still works perfectly, but obviously the technology improved a lot since then and this latest version beats it in many aspects. For this test, I got the smallest version out of the three sizes it's available in. The S size is 10.6 by 6.7 inches, out of which the active drawing area is 6.3 by 3.9 inches. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually works well even with large 27 or 32 inch screens. However, if you want more precision and freer hand movements, you can get the large size which gives you 12.1 by 8.4 inches active area. The easiest way to imagine how big each of these tablets are is by comparing them to the international paper sizes. So the small tablet is similar to an A6 paper size, the medium Intuos is like an A5 and the large Intuos has a slightly bigger active area than an A4 paper. The only other difference between the available sizes is that the small one has six customizable application specific express keys, while the larger sizes all have eight of them. The connection is USB-C on the tablet, or you can use it with Bluetooth, and the tablet charges itself when connected by cable and works for several days after a full charge connected wirelessly. Although the connection on the tablet itself is USB-C, the other end of the cable is standard USB, which works well in many cases, but you will need a converter if you are using newer laptops or MacBooks. Of course you can avoid getting a converter if you are just using the tablet wirelessly and you charge your tablet with a USB adapter somewhere else. The Wacom Pro Pen 2 is a battery-free stylus, which is charged electromagnetically. It has an impressive 8192 pressure levels on both the pen tip and the eraser, which is exactly four times as much as I have on my older Wacom Intuos. The stylus has the usual two customizable buttons on it, and the pen itself really feels great to hold and draw with. It's very comfortable and a very nice design. The pen stand design is also really neat and elegant, and the coolest feature of it is the nib remover hole at the bottom. I'm not sure whether that's the right term for it, but that's just how I call it. I also love the extra nibs hidden inside the pen stand, which allows for further customization depending on the type of friction and drawing field you prefer. For the medium and large size Intuos Pros, you can even buy different texture sheets and replace the drawing surface to make it smoother or rougher compared to the default resistance. The design of the new Intuos Pro is beautiful and really comfortable to work with. It has no hard edges and it is made of premium materials like anodized aluminium and glass fiber composite resin. It really feels sturdy, even though it is only 8mm thick. The multi-touch gestures work well, just like the touchpad on the MacBook Pro. You can zoom, pan and rotate in most applications, and if they are not required, you can easily disable them with the switch on the side of the tablet. I never really felt like they are getting in the way while I'm drawing, but it's very good to have that quick turn off and on option. Drawing with the Intuos Pro is really smooth and you can easily use it for any type of professional creative work. It is worth mentioning that the hand-eye coordination takes some time to get used to if you have never used a pen tablet before. You have several alternatives if this is an issue for you. If you have more budget, you can get an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, a Wacom Cintiq pen display, or you can also get the paper edition of this new Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, 
which allows you to sketch on paper on top of the tablet and refine your work digitally later on. Personally, I am pretty used to the hand-eye coordination and I actually like the fact that my hand is not obstructing the view of what I'm working on. I am very spoiled though as I have both a big Cintiq and an iPad Pro so I can switch back and forth between various digital drawing modes. To sum it up, the 2019 Intuos Wacom Pro lives up to my expectations of it being the highest quality pen tablet I ever tried. I can highly recommend it to anyone who can invest a bit more into their accessories and who doesn't mind the unique hand-eye coordination it requires. If you are looking for a cheaper but similar option, I can recommend the Wacom Intuos, which is significantly cheaper but still provides great control and smooth drawing experience. Let us know in the comment section what would you like us to cover next time on this series. Click on the link in the description or the join button to become a member if you want to work on future projects with us and see the whole design or illustration process live. Thanks a lot for watching, like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.